As you can see, I started off with freshly washed hair. I used Carol da Carol's Daughter's Wash Day Delight Shampoo and Mindy McKnight's SOS and OGX Miracle Coconut Conditioner, as you should already know. <laughs> now you know I have to deep condition. So I'm using the brand Earth Supplied, their textured hair care, butter rich deep treatment mask. This is my first time using this mask and I have to say it is very hydrating i honestly didn't think it would be only because it's more of a cream and a lot of times i need more of a liquidy cream kind of like tgin's honey mask see that's very it's a cream but it's more liquid this was very very thick so i was like okay i don't know if it's really gonna do much but y'all i I really love it this plus I mixed it with aloe vera gel because my hair loves aloe vera gel my skin loves aloe vera gel what don't love aloe vera gel just it's just amazing so I mixed those two and now I'm going to section my hair off exactly how I want my flat twist now so that later once I rinse my deep conditioner out it should be already in the sections that I want to go ahead and apply the flat twist to. Okay, y'all, I'm terrible at sectioning, but I have three sections here. It's actually four, but I did three from the front to the back, and then I just separated the front and half to where I want my hair to fall. And now I'm just separating that section in half and then in half again so it'll be four flat twists in the back hopefully you get what i'm saying i can't really explain it but yeah i'm doing that i'm sectioning it just like that and i'm applying my deep conditioner right now and i'm just going to twist it not flat twist it and once i twist it it'll be ready to go under the heated dry And each section I'm doing, I'm making sure I detangle it all the way so I don't run into any kinks. I'm doing it both whenever I'm, uh, before I'm deep conditioning and also while I'm doing my flat twist as well. You'll see later. So now that I'm all sectioned up, I'm getting ready to go ahead and sit underneath that heat. And so I'm gonna put on the shower caps. I usually put two, just to hold extra moisture in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on my bonnet and I'll sit underneath the dryer for about 30 minutes. And then I'll catch you guys when I get back.
now I'm going in with their leave-in conditioner which th their product smells good and I'm also going to do the do most well mousse death texture foam to actually start my flat twist and I'm going to do a whole nother video on the whole line of print supply because when I went into Walmart I picked it up because it smelled good and I loved the ingredients that were in there so stay tuned for that video So I'm breaking both of the products in. First I'm putting in some leave-in and then I'll put the texture um, foam in there by the dew. But then I'll go ahead and detangle it with my Denman brush. And this is where it went wrong. <laughs> I'ma let y'all decide if it went wrong. I feel like it did because I can't twist at all. I can't braid at all, but I tried. I tried this. But I will try to keep doing it so that I get better at it. But I'm terrible at anything dealing with scalp braiding, scalp twisting, all that type of stuff. Like I can twist in like the regular twist in the regular braids. But I can't do it like this. So that's where it got crazy because... I started twisting, my fingers got all confused, I got confused, so then I was like, you know what, we just about to, we about to just throw this together, we about to just see how we do. And when I go to take it out, it gets even more confusing, because it's like, how did my twist get into a braid, but then get back into a twist? I, I don't understand, but <laughs> y'all will see, it's not the products, it's not the method. It's, it's me. It was all me. That's why I called it a fail. now i got this idea from curly candy candy with an eye on instagram and also on youtube go check out her video when she did it it was bomb she has beautiful hair i always watch her videos she's super sweet y'all should go check her out but look at hers and then come back and look at mine and you can see why I was like, <laughs> we're going to try this again another day. Now that I'm all done, I'm going to add some Shine Mist from their collection. And I'm going to go ahead and air dry because I hate sitting underneath the dryer. But my hair does take a minute to dry. So I actually went to sleep like this. I just put a silk scarf on top of my head and went to sleep and as you can see that's the result you see the little things that's sticking out the little alien tentacles that's what it looks like to me because I sleep retarded my whole bonnet and silk scarf fell off so now I'm just gonna add some shine mist to it because by in a hair care because I realized I did not have any oil which is probably number two of why this failed because i did not have any oil on me usually i have my jamaican black castor oil didn't have it so i used this to actually untwist it and now y'all are about to see the final results in a few minutes but look, 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 look this this right here this is where it got confusing i was like um wait a minute Whoop. I can't untwist. I untwist this way, but I gotta untwist back the other way. You can see it all in my face, just aggravated. <laughs> I 
I know I'm not the only one. Like as you're doing your hair, you can literally if you go back and record if you record yourself and go back, you can just look at the disappointment on your face when something don't work out. That's exactly what's happening here. I'm looking back at it and my face is just like so disappointed. It's funny now, nah, but I was like not mad, but just like <sighs> aggravated because I'm like, okay, I feel like I didn't waste a whole day and a half. But this is pretty much the end of the video. And I will check with you guys later in another one. Like I said, I'm going to try to review the whole Earth Supply collection because they really shocked me, especially even because of the prices also mixed with the quality of the brand. So I'm going to explain that in another video, maybe the next one after this one. But this is the final results. I love the volume, y'all. Don't get me wrong. I love the volume. But I could just tell it was not going to last for a whole week. Plus, my ends weren't defined like I wanted it to be. Like with Curly Candy, she actually used the perm rods in which I should have used the perm rods too at the bottom. But I just went ahead and flat twisted the whole thing instead of using the rod. So next time I might try that instead. But I thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to your girl and comment if it's a fail or if it's actually doable. So I will check you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.